Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ju from Happiness and Crafting. So today, I'm um, just following on from yesterday when we made this lovely little flip out book. Um, I'm just going to sort of embellish it a little bit. Now I'm only going to use some little bits of scrap um, book paper. I'm going to use, these are my little mini embellishments um, and a piece of um, one of my digital kits there. I'll link, I'll pop a link um, to the kits that I use um, below the video anyway. A um, little bit of cheesecloth of course. Now I also have these sort of like little grungy stamps here as well. These are ones that I just purchased off AliExpress a while ago. A um, bit of stays on, a um, little bit of ink just in case I need it, some of my tacky glue um, and a glue stick. So that's all you really need. Now this is the one <clears throat> that I did before. So it's really simple, a little bit of stamping, a few little um, bits of um, digital paper on there. Um, so it's really, really simple. Um, so it's a good way as, uh, as well of using up your scraps. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a little something on the front. So what should we have? I think I'm going to cut up this piece here. So what should we have? Shall I? I'm just going to just eyeball it. Just cut a little bit across here. Nothing too fancy. Just quite simple and I will do like I did the other one so we've got another little extra pocket in there so I'm going to cut it so it's sort of straight like that just down there and I'm going to round the corners I think just like that a little bit of ink around the edges that might get my little dauber just so we've got like an extra little pocket. Now you can sew around this if you wanted to as well. But I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm just going to stick it on. Just like that. Just around the edges. A little bit of tacky glue. On here. You could probably make a couple of these little um, journals. Um, I do have a few more tutorials because this one is number six this little flip out so I've got another five and they're really nice so you could sort of make them if you made them out of just the tea stain paper you could just sort of like decorate them quite simply now what else should we put should we just pop a little random number on there I think as well let's pop that on actually what I might do I might. I've got them here, which I forgot about, which is the little um, embellishments we made here, which would look quite nice. Because, yes, I remember I've got one with a little music on here. So that might look quite nice stuck on the front. Or even that one, that's pretty. Hmm. I like them both. I think I'm going to stick that one on, actually. So let's pop these on here pop all these little bits away and I must remember to use them I need to put them so I can see them and then I will remember to use them now I'm going to stick it down with a little bit of the three in one because it's sort of like um, quite a thick fabric on the back you need something that's going to stick it down quite nicely so a little bit of this will work best I think so it will just doesn't really matter which way it goes just stick that on there we go that looks nice doesn't it okay perfect so we've got a nice little pocket there so let's open this up now this is the pocket here so i just want to put a little bit of something down here so i'm going to use just a little bit of book paper which we all seem to have quite a lot of don't we just ink around the edge just a little bit like that and what shall we have now on these what I'm going to do I'm actually going to tear little sections so I'm going to let's see tear this just down like that I think maybe I'll have that 
so it's sort of at the bottom. Tear that little bit off. Just ink around the edge. Just like that. Pop that like that, I think. Now what I'm going to do as well is add a little bit of stamping to it as well. So what shall we have? Let's just have this little corner one. You can see I really need to clean my little um, acrylic block. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna, I just want the edge of this. Just where those little lines are. Let's take that off. Let's open that up so it's a little bit flatter. Just little lines. Just like that on there. Let's pop a little bit on this pocket as well. So you only need a little bit and I think it makes a big difference. So where did we put that one that I was using? Go. Let's stick this down first, a little bit of glue stick. Let's just pop something down here as well, I think. A bit of book paper. You don't want to make it too um, sort of thick, so you just want sort of like thin bits of paper just so it closes up properly and it's not too sort of bulky on there. Pop a little bit of this on. Just like that. And what have we got? We've got a number. Maybe I'll pop that which way round. I don't think it really matters. I think I'm going to put the whole of that on there. Just ink so you don't see those little white edges which I don't like. I'm going to pop a little bit of cheesecloth on this piece. So just cut a little piece off. Just scrunch it up a little bit. Bit of glue. Stick that on. Let's stick it on with some of this one. Oopsie daisy. And just put that, pop that on there like that. Perfect. There we go. So that looks nice, doesn't it? So we've got the little pocket here to pop something into, and then we've got the pocket there. And then we've got the big pocket that we've just made on there. So there we go. So now we need to oops, put those out. Just do this one here. So this is a pocket here. And then we've got the big pocket sort of there. So I'm just going to do this little band down the front. So let's have a little bit of book paper. Is that too wide? A little bit too wide, I think. So maybe I shall put it like that. Okay, what else can we have? I think maybe I'll put that one on the front of there. I'll keep that one. I'll probably forget, but now I'm going to just tear this down. Just like that. Let's just ink this up. Ink these a little bit. Just a tiny bit, just to take that little white edge off. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I need to do a little bit of stamping. So let's pick a different one. Which one should we have this little frame? Like that. Take that off. Now I'm just going to, oops, wrong ink pad, a little bit of stays on, just a little 
corn a bit like that I think looks nice just to edge it which looks good okay and pop these down with a little bit of glue stick actually add a little bit of washi tape onto here as well sticking down if we had some nice washi tape and I'm going to put that right on the edge I think let's have a little bit of cheesecloth in there as well cut a little section off just wrinkle it up a little bit what shall we use a bit of glue stick on there Glue stick holds this down really nicely because you can sort of like wrinkle it up as well, which I like. Stick this down. Again, this is just tacky glue in there. Just watered down just slightly because it gets quite thick. So I've just put a tiny, tiny bit of water in there um, and then the glue and then just shook it up a little bit. There we go. So that looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's do the inner one. So we've got the pocket here and we've got the pocket here. So again, I'm just going to decorate down this bit here. So let's get another little bit. So it's quite simple to do. on here just like that just ink around the edge and this one Maybe I won't. Maybe I will just ink it as well. Let's pick another one of these. Let's have this one here. Should really ink them all in one go. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just go round it with a little bit of ink. So should we turn that over? So this is the one I think I'm going to do. Let's use another one. Choose this funny old shape one. Stick it so it comes off the edge. Just like that. It's a bit spotty this one, doesn't it? Okay. And then I'm going to go back to this one here, which is the lines. I do this one. Let's just pop that like that. Okay. Back. So I put a little bit there. Okay. So that's all the stamping done. Just wipe this off. those out of the way so that's the stumping bit finished now we need to let's see what we're doing I was just going to stick this down wasn't I we put on here a little bit of cheesecloth maybe I'll have the other little bit of this let's just tear this down through in the middle and ink it up and 
Let's see, I'll tell you what would have looked nice. I could have used my little collage pieces on here, which would have been good, wouldn't they? There we go. I quite like that. It's a little bit of ink on there, I think. Didn't quite stick, I don't think, there. There we go. I like that one. Okay, so what else do we need to put in here? Let's have a look. We need something on this one, don't we? What have we got? This one. Let's just tear this. Like that, I think. Sit that up there. Now I could do with a little bit more stamping here which I think I might do here. Let's get this one out. Got sort of like little bubbly bits on there, which is quite nice. I think I might just pop there. Yes, that's it. A little bit of glue. I'm going to keep that one a little bit simpler, I think. There we go. Just like that. So now on this one, let's pop something on here. Let's have a little bit of book paper. On. What else shall we have? Let's have a little bit of this, I think. Let's just tear some of this off. Like that. Stick that down. A little bit of cheesecloth in there. What should we have? We're going to have something like that. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to stick this piece down first. Take this off my finger. Let's put a bit of glue on there. A little bit of glue on here. Of cheesecloth down. So it wrinkles up a little bit like that. And I'm going to use the wet glue on this so it sticks onto the um, cheesecloth. Just like that. I did an ink around the edge on that one, never mind. a little bit darker around there. There we go. Maybe I'll pop a little bit of a stamp, little dotty bits I think. Just there. 
Okay, so that's coming along nicely, isn't it? So that goes across there. So now we need something down this little pocket here. So we could use this really, couldn't we? Just take the ends off like that. Which way round do you think it goes? That way? little bit of book paper. It's too big. Yep. Stick that down. lovely so now we need to do this little bit here so what shall we put on here let's have we have a bit of this down the bottom or we could have a little butterfly couldn't we let me just tear around it i think Just like that. Come on, just pop it there. Okay, let's have a little bit of this, I think. Just have that little. Actually, I might have a long section. Let me just cut instead of tearing. Let me just pop a nice long piece down. Like that. Ink the edge. A little bit of cheesecloth in there, of course. Rumple it all up. That might be a little bit too much. Okay, let's stick this down. There, like that, that can go on there, and then we'll just have that popping out the top. So, a little bit of glue on there for the cheesecloth. Look it up, put this on here. I printed on the back of these because they're the ones that I was using for when I did the little laminated um, embellishments. Perfect. So that looks really nice, I think. So then we want something on this little bit. What did we put on the other side? So the rose is down there, didn't we? So let's have a look what we've got here. I'm going to put that across the whole thing. Let's just tear around it like this. Hmm. I might have that actually so it's popping out. I need something up here I think so it's not so in line with that. So let's get some book paper. Oops, ink it 
up. Just around the edge, a little bit of glue. Then we shall use, let's have a look. We will have this little, little butterfly fairy on here, I think. Tear around her. around and she can just sit there like that it looks pretty and of course a little bit of cheesecloth which can come out of the bottom bit I think just will wrinkle this up a little a little bit of glue she can just sit there like that So that looks nice, doesn't it? Lovely. Oops, stick that down. Right, now we need something on here. So let's see what we've got. Oh, I'm running out of book paper. There we go. Here's a piece. I was going to put that bit on here. I knew I'd forget. Silly Billy. Okay, what shall we have on this one? There's another little rose with a dove. I don't really want to... Um, Cut that out like that. So let's just have a few little roses at the top, I think. Let's just tear around that piece. And cut it so it's straight. Just so it sits on the edge like that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oopsie daisy. So we've got the front pocket with that little embellishment on there. That's the inside little pocket. So I think, I think this looks really nice now. So I might actually pop one of these little embellishments on here. I quite liked this one, just so it goes with the blue in the dragonfly. I like that because I think it will just sort of like balance it up. If I've got one on the front, it's quite nice to have it one inside as well. Come on, glue. There we go. I don't think it really matters which way it goes. There we go. That looks nice. I like that. So now we've just got to do the back pocket. So what shall we do with the back pocket? Let's have a look. Now, I probably could have used that, but it's not quite right. I think my camera just went off then. So I think I'm just going to pop a little bit of this as the back pocket. So let's just cut that down. Come off. 
just a little pocket on the back, just like that. Let me just round the corners off. just sit on there so we've got like an extra little pocket in there as well which will look nice won't it so let's just pop a little bit of glue down there like that so this definitely would be a good one to use your scraps up on so there we go that's stuck down nicely So then we have a little pocket in there and a little pocket there. So there we go. I think this has come out really nice. I love these. So there we go. So that's the front with your little flip pocket. And then shall we show you all the pockets if you haven't seen it? So we've got the pocket there and then we have a pocket there and a pocket there. And then we open this up. We have a pocket there and a pocket there. I'll pop the link down to this little booklet anyway underneath as well so we've got the pocket there and there bigger one there this is just the flip through we've got the pocket there one there one there so this has got lots of lovely sort of hidden pockets really uh, we've got 14 14 pockets and then we've made two extra by adding that one and that one there so and then we have pocket in the back and the pocket there and it goes really flat so if you were just popping little journaling cards like this in it it's you can put lots and lots in there um, and it would still stay stay really flat to pop into one of your journals or as i said before you can give it as a lovely sort of like gift for somebody you can pop some little words or something on there as well um, but i think that looks really nice it's not too um fussy not too fussy um, it's just some lovely little bits and pieces in there so there we go guys I hope you like that um, thank you so much for joining me um, I hope you're all safe and well and please do take care of yourselves and I will see you soon bye bye